camera on? Sure, okay. So I'm gonna record uh, some of the introduction videos um, for class one. And we're starting out with the kinematics of particles. Uh, this is going to be, let's see, um, what chapter is that in Beer Johnson? This is chapter 11 in Beer Johnson. So we're going to be sticking pretty close to the book. So I would recommend that you get the book and use it. All right. So let me have a, look, a little bit of introduction stuff. I like to go in the beginning of each class, do this thing called the bluff, the bottom line up front, where you give you like one slide and pretty much tells you about what we're going to teach today, the things that we're going to do. And from the equation sheet that I use for uh, class, um, this is a little segment of it, and this is really what you know what's covered on today on that sheet. So pretty much everything you need to know are these equations right here that would be covered today. And uh, so on an exam, this would be on the equation sheet the stuff that you go to. So there's really pretty simple on this first, and we call this the fundamental kinematic relationships, where the velocity is the time rate change of the position vector and the acceleration is the time rate change of the velocity vector which is actually the second derivative of the position vector with respect to time and there's also this oddball one in here that uh, comes up where uh, the acceleration can also be written as the velocity times the derivative of velocity with respect to position um, so that's basically the big things um, these are stuff that I'll go over in class, so uh, we don't necessarily need to do that. Something um, I will tell you is make sure you go to Blackboard and look through it uh, carefully for all the wonderful stuff that it contains. And um, homework formatting, um, I'm going to talk about that a lot in class as well. Um, I'm going to try to get you to uh, uh, turn homework in, in in a particular way. Um, which is right here actually engineering paper and um, uh, here's like an example this is actually I believe this is yeah I guess it is an example from me yeah um, where uh, or it might have been a student that turned it in and looked really good yeah I can't tell but anyway um, you know you want to f things labeled you want to do a brief statement of the problem you don't need to write it out all the way but I want a sketch of the arrangement um, tell me what you're what you're there to find, and then go through the solution and uh, give some give a little bit of indication of what's going on. The general guidance is I want enough information on there so that uh, someone picking this piece of paper up, an engineering student picking this piece of paper up, would know what the, what, what was going on with the problem. Right, that's what you want to have good communication. Um, and really, please. Uh, box here we have them double underlined. I prefer to have a box. Rewrite the answer at the end in a box. Um, the answer should have three to four significant digits, uh, unless you're told something otherwise. But uh, that's in other classes usually where I do that. Make sure you have the proper units, which means um, something uh, related to the units that you were given in the uh, introduction of the class uh, of the problem, or it might be um, just sensible units, something that makes sense, right? So if you have 1,895 inches, turn it into feet. If that turns out to be more than 5,000 feet, turn it into a mile, that kind of thing. Um, and then lastly, if I ask a question, uh, oh, you know, make sure you indicate direction there, especially if it's a vector. Make sure that it's clear that it's a vector. Sometimes that means an arrow. Sometimes that means a uh, an angle with a. And if you include an angle, make sure you you put in what the what quadrant you're uh, referring to. Um, and always do it from the horizontal. Don't do it from vertical. And do the quadrant from the horizontal. And uh, use a percentage uh, when you're. Lastly use a percentage when you want to compare something and say this one is this percent more than that one make make a make a sentence out of it, it doesn't need to be a proper sentence but make, make sure you clearly indicate that kind of thing all right so let's start so uh, dynamics is really easily broken down into uh, um, four really groups right if you want. We, we have particles and rigid bodies and within them we have kinematics and kinetics right so there's four things particle kinematics particle kinetics, rigid body kinematics, and rigid body kinetics. And if you look at their book, you'll see 
it, the chapters are organized in that way. So that's, that's a good way is we can organize our thoughts and uh, keep these in mind right here. But we want to start off with these two first definitions of what are kinematics and kinetics. And I keep coming back to this because, uh, you know, the students don't seem to f f forget what these definitions are. So they're worth uh, pursuing just a little bit more fine detail. Um, now, one of the things I try to encourage my students to do is to use these handout notes to, to print them out or download the PDFs onto a, uh, onto a tablet and use them during class. And I think this really helps you stay organized. That's the whole purpose of them. Um, I'm used to see a lot more students using these notes. And uh, when, when they did, I'd get lots of comments on course evaluations that they really appreciated them. It helped them to stay focused. Um, I'm making them so that you don't have to write a lot down uh, during class, right? Um, because and I actually believe that the act of writing things down and taking notes really helps you stay engaged and uh, makes you think out things. Um, but I think that if you spend the whole class trying to transcribe what's written on the board down on your piece of paper, you don't get as much time to think. All right? So I'm trying to find this little hybrid middle ground um, between uh, write everything down or me, uh, or me just giving you the notes and everything and then all you do is just read and kind of slowly fall asleep during class. Um, so I try to make this more efficient for you, right? And hopefully you'll see what I mean by that. So uh, kinematics, I would say, is the geometry of motion. And what is what do I mean by that, all right? Now, so I would write this down maybe on the board and then you write it down. But then as I'm talking about it, then maybe you might write some other notes about what um, I'm saying, right? And, and then you might ask a question because you're confused by what I've just said. Well, what does that mean? And then I tell you, and then you go, oh, I got it. And then you take another note down because you might forget later on what I say. So you're, this is the act of taking notes, like 101. But um, I'm, I'm sure for many of you, you're expert note takers. But maybe some of you, you haven't really taken notes before um, in, in usable ways. But hopefully, maybe this will get you started in a really good habit. Um, so what do we mean by the geometry of motion for kinematics? Um, I really mean a description of the motion. A description with respect to uh, position that I'll just call x here, velocity, acceleration, and time, and some inner relationship that's going on right there. They can, some, some things can be related to others. Um, when we get into rigid bodies, we will have rotation as part of that too. But this is mostly like a translation thing, right? So we, if we know the position and maybe it's a function of time, we could take the derivative of it and that kind of thing. And then we can figure out what the velocity is, right? We just want to find these velocities, this velocity acceleration often is what we're looking for here, without regards to why it's happening, right? So we don't know why it's moving in kinematics. We're just describing it, right? And then um, kinetics, on the other hand, is the cause of the motion, right? Of the motion. So this is the geometry, this is how it's moving, and this is why it's moving, right? And uh, it deals with uh, forces and um, uh, you know, and their interrelationship uh, with, uh, uh, with kin kinetics, right? So we, we have forces, and um, I'm just going to make a list of things. Um, but it's related to forces, right? Cause of the motion. Let me go here. Most of the time, it's forces, right? Um, so in kinetics, that's where we get like F equals MA, right? You'll remember that's Newton's second law. Or we might have also work and energy. Right? And we'll see when we get to those in kinetics that they are actually related to F equals MA. And then we also have impulse and momentum. And then that too is related to F equals MA. So you can almost think of kinetics F equals MA, right? Although there are other ways that we can um, approach a problem uh, which in essence is using F equals MA, Newton's second law. And why is my camera over here where I could be like in the center? There you go. All right. 
Um, I guess I always I always kind of skewed one side. So this, these are good things to like remember and our definitions and, and to keep coming back to to try to organize our brains around this organization and we could see from here. So we're, we're, we're taking the chaos on the difficulties of um, dynamics and trying to make them into something uh, organized and trying to organize them in our brain. All right, so um, I wrote a book called uh, Engineering Dynamics Course Companion. Um, it's actually got two volumes of it. And in it, I feature um, my uh, cartoons. And I, I used to just make these cartoons just for fun, I used to scribbling stuff, and this, uh, a colleague suggested that uh, maybe I could use them in class, so I started doing that, uh, trying to create a cartoon uh, for each of the subjects um, and, and many topics right there that might have like a lasting uh, thing that would help you remember, right? Like I call them a visual mnemonic, right? To help you remember some aspect of the, uh, uh, of the topic. Sometimes I just do it because it's entertaining, but a lot of times what I actually have a goal in mind uh, for what we do. So um, these are my original artwork. I drew all of these, uh, so just to let you know. So um, in chapter 11, getting started right here let me see what my video uh, went through here so that could just be introduction yeah that's a short introduction let me make another video so see you soon